Hey guys, Tyler here. So for this video, I'm going to take a political compass test and hopefully this whole entire process is entertaining for you guys because I personally think that these kind of tests are like the most boring thing ever. And also before I begin my whole entire like results for this test, I first want to state that of course that I do not vote for one party or the other party or that I'm like politically affiliated with any kind of party. Pretty much, I don't, I'm not literally a part of like any sort of political group at all. Like, basically, I'm kind of independent when it comes to this whole entire matter. As a matter of fact, if the party actually has my interest, no matter the side, I vote for that party and vice versa. And so, let's start this whole entire process for you guys. And hopefully, the results are pretty interesting to share with you guys. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should prim primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. I would say, yeah, I might actually, you know, agree with that, okay? I always support my country, whether it's right or wrong. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I cannot support United States every single time something happens in my country. Like, for example, in the past, of course, the United States has slavery, and honestly, I cannot support this idea. And, of course, we have, like, the Jim Crow laws. We have a lot of injustice. We have, like, these wars going on in the Middle East. So, no, I cannot always support my country every single time it does something. That's just stupid. No one chooses his or her country of birth is fully to be proud of it. I would actually agree. Like, basically, if you're born in a place... You were just born in a place. Like, I'm not proud just because I'm American. Like, basically, when it comes to this whole entire issue, like, I don't think nationality is something to be proud of. I also don't think that sexuality is something to be proud of, or that race is something to be proud of. And so, basically, I don't think, like, stuff like, you know, Women's Day or whatever, like, Black History Month and this kind of stuff, I don't think there's nothing to be proud about when it comes down to, like, you know, being born in a country, being born in a certain way, like a gender or race, because ultimately there's stuff that you cannot choose. That's just it. So, our race has many superior su superior qualities compared to other races. Uh, yeah, I'm sure like the PC master race is better than like the console peasants. So I'm just kind of kidding right now. But uh, this is actually pretty racist. Like no race is superior to other races. That's just stupid. No. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Um, it kind of depends, like, you know, I guess, like, it's entirely possible to work with somebody that you don't like for a better goal. So, I guess I might actually, you know, agree with that kind of idea. Military action that defines international law is sometimes justified. Uh, that is, like... I'm not sure how to feel about this whole entire question, like, is there like some sort of middle ground about this? Well, I'm not sure about this whole entire idea that every single military action that defines the law is actually justified, so I might actually, might, you know, um, disagree. There is now a warring fusion of information and entertainment. Um, I would actually, you know, disagree on that. Let's go to the next page. People are ultimately divided by class than nationality. Uh, I would say yes, that's true, because basically when it comes on the poor class of people, they actually have less money than the rich people, and the middle class has money less money than, like, you know, the rich people. So, yeah, people are actually more divided by class than, like, nationality, sure. Controlling inflection is more important than controlling unemployment. Uh, I would actually disagree. Like, basically, I think, like, when it comes to this whole entire issue, like, basically the employees are actually the backbone for places. Like, people who go outside working at jobs like supermarkets or, like, these kind of, you know, labor jobs are doing way more than the actual boss. Like, the boss just sit on their butt, do nothing, and that's it. So, they actually are the backbone for our country. And so, I think that those kind of people are actually working way more than those CEOs or whatever for businesses. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. I strongly agree. 
From each according to its ability to each according to its need is a fundamental good idea. I would agree, yeah. Because basically, like, if someone's actually pretty good, they should probably, you know, actually do something. Yeah, I would agree. The freer the market, the freer the people. I'm actually terrible with economics, so I'm not sure how to feel about this. Like, I'm not sure. I would probably say, like, at some cases, like, there are some ideas out there that if you use the free market, it would not actually work. Like, for the case of, you know, organized religion, I don't think that is actually a good set of ideas, but people still voluntarily, you know, choose it anyway, despite the fact that there's actually videos going against religion. And so, I don't really trust, like, you know, humanity's judgment for stuff, and so I would say I would actually, might actually disagree with that. Yeah. It's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottle branded customer product. I would actually strongly agree with that. Like water is like, you know, a national resource, so it's kinda sad that we have to buy water to actually survive. It's kinda sad but I guess I don't know. Land should not be a common area to be bought and so I would actually uh, I would disagree. I would disagree on that. It's regrettable that many personal fortunes are being made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to our society. I would actually, yeah, I would agree with that, yes. Protectionism is actually sometimes necessary in trade. I would probably, yeah, I might agree with that, yeah. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. I would actually, you know, disagree. Like... The social responsibility besides profits, obviously, is taking good care of the employees. And if you're not taking good care of the employees, then how are you going to make your product? It's just, no. The rich are too highly taxed. I would actually disagree. Like, it's not fair for, like, rich people to, you know, not pay much in taxes. But people who are poor, like me, have to pay so much in taxes. So, let's see, uh... Those with the ability to, to pay should have higher access to standard of medical, medical care. Um, no, I would disagree. I think that everybody, not just the rich people, would actually, you know, deserve health care. So I think health care for everybody is actually a great idea. So, Governments should penalize business that mislead the public. Um, huh. I might actually, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Like, uh, if it's actually misleading, I think, of course, that's awful, so maybe it should probably be a penalty. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. A generate free market requires restriction on the ability of predator, let's see, the, the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Yes, especially Disney. Especially Disney. Especially Disney. Abortion, when the life of a woman is not threatened, should always be illegal. I disagree. All authorities should be questioned. I strongly agree. An eye for an eye, a two for no, 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 no. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Oh my god, like, I think I might actually, huh, how do I feel about this? I might actually, uh, disagree. Let's see, schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I would actually agree. Like, right now, with the whole entire coronavirus situation, we actually have computers, like, at home for people to actually have access to the internet. And I think that, you know, learning from home at your actual house is actually a way better idea for some students than going in person for school. Like, it actually prevents people from bullying, and actually you will probably learn much more in that kind of way than just looking on a chalkboard. So, that's just me, so. All people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep their own kind. What the fuck? I strongly disagree. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. I would agree. I would actually agree with that. Yeah, sure, why not? It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. I would say I would agree. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. P 
Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. I strongly, strongly, strongly agree. And it's not just marijuana either, but also all drugs. All drugs should be legalized. Let's see, the prime function of schooling is to not be equipped the future generation to find jobs. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I would actually agree. Let's see, people with serious disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. What? Like, who am I to judge with that? Like, I'm not <laughs> the one to judge who can reproduce or not produce, so <laughs> that's stupid. Like, yeah. The most important thing for children is to learn to accept discipline. Um, I'm not sure. Like, uh, sometimes, you know, like, people discipline their children bad, sometimes they don't. But I guess, like, you know, I guess I'll probably agree. Sure, why not? There are no savage people and, sav and like, civilized people. There's different cultures. Oh, my God. I would actually, like, strongly, you know, disagree. Like, there's obviously some cultures out there that are pretty primitive. Like, really, really primitive and sometimes backwards when it comes down to human rights. And so I don't think that all cultures are equal. I'm sorry. I don't think all cultures are equal. No. No, 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 no. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. I probably would, like, you know, agree with that. Yeah, I would agree with that. When you're in trouble, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? First-generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. I disagree. I disagree. What's good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately good for all of us. I strongly disagree with that. No. No, 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 no. Like, what if a company thinks that polluting the environment is okay? I will not go behind a corporation for that. No. No broadcasting institution... However, independence content should receive public funding. Uh, I would probably, yeah, maybe disagree. Disagree. Our civil liberties are being exclusively crumbled in the name of counterterrorism. I would actually agree. Yes. A significant advantage of a one-party state is to avoid all the arguments that delay the process in a democratic political system. Uh, I disagree. Like, I think there should be more than one party for, like, a democratic society. So, although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. I strongly disagree. Like, basically, like, you know, there's corporations like Microsoft that actually spy on people from playing Xbox. So, I don't think just because someone actually have a product does not mean you have the right to spy on them. That's, that's stupid. No. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crime. You know, in my heart, I would actually think that the death penalty is actually a good idea for those really, really bad criminals. Because you cannot really fix criminals either way. But, um, hmm. But sometimes it can actually be abused. And actually, you know, sometimes the wrong person can actually be killed instead. So, uh, uh, it's kind of, you know, like... I'm not sure. It's like really gray, so I might disagree. Disagree. Okay. In a, in a society, oh my god, in a civilized society, one must always have people to be above, to be obeyed, and people below to be commanded. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Abstract art does not require, let's see, does not represent anything. It should not be considered art at all. Um,. Who am I to say about that? Like, art could be anything, really, so I disagree. <laughs> In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Uh, disagree. Disagree, disagree, disagree. It's a waste of time to rehabil rehabilitate some criminals. I would agree, yeah. Some people cannot be rehabilitated. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. I strongly disagree. Strongly. Mothers may have career, but their first duty is to be homemakers. Strongly disagree. Multinational companies are unendingly exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Yes. 
Making peace with the establishment is an important part of maturity. Uh, disagree. 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 Astrology accurately explains many things. No. No, 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 no. You cannot be more without being religious. Uh, that's a strong disagree. Strong disagree here. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the de de generally uh, disadvantaged. Um, I would probably like, uh, I'm not sure about that. I might, maybe, this might agree, I might agree, I might agree. Some people are naturally born unlucky. Yes. Like, there are some people born without legs or arms or, like, born crippled. So, yeah, of course, like, there are some people that are born, like, unlucky and some that are not. So, I just think that, yeah. It is my it is important that my child's school instills religious values. Uh, not that important, no. Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. I strongly disagree. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoptions. I strongly agree. Pornography depicting consensual adults should be illegal for the adult population. I strongly agree. What goes on in the private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. I strongly agree. I strongly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. I strongly disagree. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. I strongly disagree with that whole entire statement. And of course, let's see what I got. Oh my god, where is it? Where is it actually? Oh, uh, there it is. So basically, I stand right here on the left. It's kind of funny. It's like, you know... Really interesting, but yeah, that's my political compass test. I hope you guys find it interesting, and I hope you guys taste like you know stay tuned for the next video. But uh, yeah, that's my results right here, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.